Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian with C. Reisner Cutlery, and today we're going to take a few minutes to look at some new traditional style knives from Cooper Cutlery. Let's get into it. So Cooper Cutlery is a relatively new company based right here in Ohio, down in a small town called Winchester. It's a family-owned business run by Gilbert Cooper, and they have a pretty interesting story of how they came to be. After Shatton Morgan Cutlery shut down, Cooper purchased the Shatton Morgan trademarks, as well as the original machinery from their factory, and moved it to Ohio, and began producing slip joint knives right away. Their first couple of runs weren't really great. They had some issues with the overall fit and finish on some of the knives, but nonetheless, they continued to sell out because of people's interest in a new knife brand producing American-made slip joints. Well, they've been working hard down there in their factory, and they've been releasing more knives that are greatly improved over their first runs. The issues with improper pinning, gaps between the handle and bolster, and cosmetic imperfections have been resolved, and we were really impressed with the quality of this last batch. They aren't quite at the level of quality you'd expect from Great Eastern Cutlery, but they're really getting close to the mark. As you can see on these knives, they're pretty dialed in. The handles look and feel great, the opening actions are consistent with quality half stops, and the blades are sharp as ever. This one we're looking at is under the Beaver Falls Cutlery Co. line, one of the antique trademarks that Cooper Cutlery now owns and is producing knives under. Beaver Falls Cutlery closed in 1886, but has been brought back to life by Cooper. This is one of their stag handles, and it looks really nice. The pinning is well done, the blade is centered, and the overall fit and finish is great. There aren't many American knife makers these days, even fewer making traditional style slip joints. Despite their initial hurdles, Cooper Cutlery seems to be well on their way to being another high quality maker of American blades, and we're really excited to have them in our home state of Ohio. If you're a collector of traditional style knives, or maybe just thinking about adding a slip joint to your collection, then Cooper Cutlery is an affordable way to do so. Their Shat and Morgan line tends to be a higher premium than some of their other lines like Dollar Knife Co., Weed & Co., etc., but if you keep an eye out for when they finish up a batch and get it out to dealers, you can probably get yourself a great new piece for the collection, all while supporting an American small business. You can go to our website and look at some of their previous releases too, and there's a lot to look at. We're excited to see what Cooper Cutlery brings out next. Feel free to subscribe and we'll keep you in the know about any new releases coming right out of Ohio. As usual, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.